mean, obviously, you know, it stinks. Um, you know, we knew this was a big game. Um, and, we, you know, we came up short. But um, I can promise that we're not going to lay down. You know, we're going to learn from this and get better. Um, it's the kind of guys we have in the locker room. You know, we just didn't execute good enough today. Do you expect, coming into the season, did you expect the offense to be more efficient and more explosive than it has been today? Yeah, I mean, definitely. I, mean, I think you always, you know, have optimism. And, you know, we have a lot of good players. Um, you know, but at the end of the day, if you don't execute um, and perform against a really good defense like Iowa, um, you know, you're going to come short. How challenging was it to field some of those punts from Tory Taylor? Oh, he's a really good punter. Um, probably some of the most challenging punts um, that I've had to catch up to this date. You know, I, I got to do a better job of that. You know, muffing that punt, I could have, you know, put some better field position um, down late. And, you know, um, I'll put this on, on myself and I'm going to prepare better next week and be ready for, for whatever challenges come. Have you talked to Tanner and also how do you think Braden handled those Yeah, I talked to Tanner after the game. Um, you know, I think Eli did a good job. Um, you know, obviously, you know, I think that we could have done a better job to around him, um, helping him execute, but um, that could came in about us, a tough position to put, be put in. Um, that's a really good defense, and, um, you know, I'm proud of the way that he fought. Can you share what the conversation was between you and Mark? Uh, no, I'm not going to keep that to myself. When someone like Tanner goes down, just what does that, what did that do to the offense in your eyes, and, and just what changed? You know, obviously, right? uh, I mean, it's definitely you know a challenge when you play like Tanner Moore that go down. Uh, he's a great player. He's, he's a leader on our offense. He's a team captain. Um, but at the end of the day, you know that's what we prepare for. Um, we have the next man up mentality, and um, you know we got to rally around guys. And, and at the end of the day, um, you know they don't care who's in, who's in or out. It's, just, it's still a win or loss thing. In the score column, and there's, there's things that we could have done, done better to help support Braden. And he came in and battled, and uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna continue to work and grow and uh, get better from this. Jim, did this seem like it was one of those games where no matter what you guys try to do or where you're at in the field, that it just goes wrong? That it's one of those games that just whatever whenever you try to do something right, it just does not happen. Yeah, I mean I think there's a lot of opportunities and drives that um, you know we had stuff going. And, uh, we weren't able to finish drives today, um, and obviously it's a great defense like that. But, it's tough, you know, they're really good um, red zone efficiency defensive. They kind of bend, don't break, and, uh, you know, they showed that today. Um, you know, kudos to them, they played great, but, um, you know, I'm a little disappointed the way, you know, we executed, and you know, as a leader on the offense, I'm going to take that upon myself to execute better um, and also get my guys to execute better uh, throughout the week. Obviously, you knew coming into the game that, you know, Iowa has a really sound defense. You've played against them multiple times. Do you feel like the game today showed there's still a ways to go in terms of this new offense and getting to the point where you hope it can be? Yeah, I mean, I think we definitely, uh, you know, have to play. Um, you know, that's a great defense that we play. They have a lot of really good players. They're sound. They don't make mistakes. Um, and, you know, we were able to put drives together and finish drives. And, um, you know, it's tough uh, when you can prepare so much and uh, lose a tough game like this. You know, that means so much to this program and um, this university. Uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, uh, you know, we got to get better. we got a lot of games left. We've got a lot of ball left. And I, I promise we're going to come out and play good ball the rest of the year. Can you say you feel like you guys are offensive that's too better for Brady? What do you think a couple of things you could pinpoint? I mean, i got to look back at the film. It's just, um, you know, if I could have pinpointed them, I would have would have executed them better. But at the end of the day, um, you know, if we execute, you know, you know, we have a good scheme, we have a good game plan. Uh, if we execute, you know, we're going to put up more points than we did today. How would you describe Braden's skill set and what you can expect from him in case he has to go moving forward? Yeah, I mean, Braden's a very capable quarterback. He has good arm talent. He's kind of from his mind. So, um, you know, that's a young kid who was one of his first games. He came in and showed that he could help move the ball. Um, and it's one of the best defenses in the country. So, um, you know, I, I, all faith in him. And, um, we're going to rally around him. Uh, we're going to continue to grow. You talked about your leadership here. How do you keep the spirits up on a day where things, you know, the wind could kind of come out of the sails for you guys. How do you now show people to not let that happen? Yeah, I mean, I think it's just, um, you know, kind of how do you handle the first year in life? Um, if you want everything to go your way, you want to win every game, you want to do that, but at the end of the day, you know, sometimes not, that's not reality. Um, at the end of the day, we still have everything ahead of us. Um, you know, we, we obviously wanted this game, and this is big for, for kind of our goals, but at the end of the day, if we just keep winning games and we keep getting better each and every week, you know, we'll put ourselves in position at the end of the year, um, you know, to have a shot. Do you guys hear that identity for an offense? you guys still trying to figure out what that is? Yeah, I don't know. I, I got to look at the film, but, um, 
you know, we definitely didn't perform the way that we wanted to. We definitely didn't, um, you know, have the identity that we wanted. Let's put it that way today. Um, so, uh, you know, we're going to continue working to get better and uh, come up next week and play a better game.